Researchers spent a decade studying an arthritis drug to see if it causes heart problems. Now the results are in, and Dr. John LaPook has them. 64-year-old Mary Kay Bossard, a respiratory therapist, takes Celebrex to relieve debilitating pain from arthritis. It's my hands, it's my shoulders, it's my elbows, it's my back. I've had back surgery because I had such severe arthritis. Celebrex works by targeting an enzyme responsible for pain and inflammation. It's a similar mechanism to the drug Vioxx, which was pulled from the market in 2004 because of increased risk of heart attack and stroke. Were you concerned? Well, if Vioxx is causing heart problems, what about Celebrex? It's the same group. I was concerned. There was that little niggly in the back of your mind going, oh, is it okay to take this every day? In 2005, the FDA required the maker of Celebrex to conduct a safety trial. 24,000 people at increased cardiovascular risk who had arthritis severe enough to require daily medication were given an anti-inflammatory drug, Celebrex, ibuprofen, or naproxen. They were then monitored for cardiovascular events such as heart attack, stroke, or death. Dr. Steve Nissen of the Cleveland Clinic led the 10-year study. I thought that it would probably tilt against uh, Celebrex. What actually happened? Uh, everybody was wrong, including me. It's pretty clear that it was not worse. If anything, it was trending a little bit toward being on the better side. The study also found a lower risk of gastrointestinal complications in Celebrex compared with the other two. It really does take a drug that was under a cloud of suspicion after Vioxx was withdrawn, and it lifts that cloud, and it lets us now think about this in different ways. Remember, this study did not look at the occasional use of these drugs for, say, a headache. But now, for some patients with more severe and chronic pain, some doctors who steered away from using Celebrex may now decide to use it. Dr. John LaPook, thank you.